Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel Hattie Homemaking where I make videos on homemaking, cleaning and lifestyle. So today is going to be another charity shop haul. It's no secret that I am absolutely obsessed with charity shops. I think they're amazing. You can pick up such great things from there, from everything from clothes, books, homeware. And in this haul as well, I've got some amazing Christmas decor and kitchen pieces that I'm so excited about. And to be honest, it's not something I've thought about really about charity shops and Christmas stuff, aside from I know they do really good and cheaper Christmas cards, but I've picked up honestly some absolute finds that you would pay a lot of money for brand new so i'm going to as always split this into sections i'll use the youtube chapters feature so if you're just interested in the decor or just interested in books or clothes or whatever you want you can skip to the section but if you're interested in it all everything i picked up then i really hope you enjoy this video if you do enjoy charity shop hauls then please do subscribe to my channel as i do them very frequently i'm a frequent attender of charity shops so I've always got something new to show you. So without talking too much I'm going to get straight on in and I'm going to start with the Christmas bits I've picked up since it is nice and seasonal. So the first thing I'm going to start with is this mug I found for 50p. It says hello winter and I just think it's so cute. I just imagine how nice that would be with a hot chocolate or recently I've started drinking lattes and I just love the shape of it and on the same sort of road <laughs> i've got another mug as well which is this really cute santa mug again with a hot chocolate with some squirty cream for his head would just be so cute this was one pound fifty and i absolutely love it i think he's so cute you just can't go wrong with that and i feel like if you were to buy that new it would be like five pounds so one pound fifty and they're both in perfect condition as well no scratches or chips or anything like that so to go with that santa mug as well i also got a christmas plate <laughs> i just think that's so cute i do love a good christmas plate with a mince pie or just whatever you want to have it's just such a nice way to feel seasonal and as well if you've got kids it's a nice plate to leave your mince pie for santa claus at the fireplace as well so this as well was just one pound fifty again in perfect condition and I will use that every single Christmas. Like I mentioned in my Christmas decorating video, I'm the type of person to use the same decorations year in, year out, and I love that look of just the same thing every year and it gets a little bit older and everything's got a story. So I'm really happy with that. The next Christmas thing I found was this little bauble that says pull. So for those of you that don't know, Paul is my husband. We got married in September. So I just found that and I thought it was super cute. So these were a pound each. Um, I'm pretty sure this was the new, the sometimes charity shops do like a new range, which they sell for a little bit more expensive to then make more, more money for the charity. So this was in Age UK. The next really, really cute thing, I'm so excited to show you this, is this Christmas train. I just absolutely love it. It's got what's either a teddy, I think it's a dog coming out. My mother-in-law thinks it's a teddy, but I think it's a dog because <laughs> it's got the little paws and it's got Santa Claus as well coming out. This was only five pounds and I went to like a Christmas gift shop recently and something like this was no joke like 20 or 30 pounds so to get this for five pound and it's such a staple traditional piece which is exactly up my street and again i will use this for years i imagine it when we have kids and they're playing with it like it's a train and i'm just yeah i'm so excited about that and then the final christmas piece i got is this little house that actually lights up so if i turn it on i don't think you can see it on camera is it on yeah it's on but you can't see on camera it like flashes all different colors inside i'll see if i can get a clip in a little bit once it's a little bit darker so you can see and again this was just five pound it's in perfect condition and again it's just that traditional Christmassy design that I will come back to year after year and it's so cute I love it so I feel like all that Christmas stuff a plate two mugs and those two timeless decoration pieces so all of that Christmas decor added up together is let me just do my quick maths so one pound fifty fifty p two pound ten pound that's twelve thirteen 
So all of that Christmas stuff was £14.50, which, I mean, if you're shopping brand new, you would get one thing for that and they're all in perfect condition and I have no complaints about any of it. Okay, so now moving on, I'm going to go on to the books I found. So in Age UK, they had an amazing deal on where you could get three books for £1. I couldn't believe it. That's such a good deal. So I got these three books. I will take you through them. So the first one I got is this Hilary Boyd Tangled Lives. I've not heard of this author before, um, but to be honest, I just like a very lighthearted chick flick and yeah, it just sounds like this is a chick flick and I love the cover. So I'm gonna give that a read. I've also got this one from Marion Keys called Angels. So I've read a couple of Marion Keys books. So I just thought I would pick that up as well. And this one from Carol Matthews, Welcome to the Real World. So I asked on my Instagram for book recommendations recently and Carol Matthews came up as someone who does like light-hearted chick flicks so when I saw that I thought I definitely have to get that so those three books from Age UK for one pound you just can't go wrong and I feel like these books I can then give them back and someone else can buy them and I just like that continuous stream for the charity as long as I take care of them when I read them and then when I give them back they can sell them again and yeah I just think getting books from a charity shop is just I find it so fun they always have such a good selection you can always find something you want to read and I can always justify spending money on books. The next two books I got were actually Christmas ones so these were from the British Heart Foundation. They were £1 each but they did have cheaper books as well it's just because these were sort of at the front in the Christmas display and um, so because they were seasonal I think that's why they were going for a little bit more. So I got this one from Sarah Morgan and the title is A Wedding in December so I thought I had to get that like considering when I got married this year and we're going into Christmas time I thought I absolutely have to have that and it was one pound. The next Christmas book I got was The Christmas Party by Karen Swan. It says it was a bestseller, again I've not heard of this author. I have to say it's only recently that I've really really got into books so I've always read a little bit but not consistently um, but recently I have been reading at least for half an hour every night and I love on a Sunday morning waking up and just reading for a couple of hours before going for my roast dinner so they are all the books I've got so I've got five books there so once I finish my Sophie Kinsella book that I'm reading at the moment I can go on to these five books so I'm going to be sorted at least for the next month or two. Okay so now I'm going to go on to the home decor pieces that I found in charity shops so I'm just going to get straight on into the home decor since I know a lot of you will be interested in that considering my channel is about homemaking. So the first thing I found was this gorgeous little I think it's a candle holder but you could use it for a variety of different things. I see a lot of people using little Little jars like this to put like their scent boosters in for their laundry I don't think it's quite big enough for that but something like that so it's only 50p and I feel like that style is just so up my alley in terms of the type of homeware I like it's very sort of cottagey shabby chic and yeah I just feel like there's endless amounts of things you can do with that and it was only 50p the next thing I got is this gorgeous little teapot. So you will know if you've watched any of my videos how much I love teapots. I just, there's something about a teapot that instantly makes me feel cosy, instantly makes me want to have a cup of tea. And the, I think the thing I like about it is it's not just like a slapdash cup of tea. It's like a proper sit down, self care, take your time, have multiple cups of tea. <laughs> I know that's so sad but I just love this it's sort of like a navy blue um floral design and it's quite small as well so it's perfect for two people and it was only two pound as well so I know I have a lot of teapots but when you see something like that and it's like so up your street you just can't help it I think that's why a lot of people say with charity shops you can't go in to find something the things that you want find you <laughs> so if you go into charity shops regularly enough you will have everything you could want from another shop it's just you have to be a little bit more patient and wait for the things to sort of be donated and come up if that makes sense but yeah I absolutely love it so cute <laughs> Okay, so now after my spiel about how much I'm loving books at the moment, you will, oh, I just feel like you're going to die when you see this because I did. <laughs> like if you're anything like me and have the same style as me. So I found these 
gorgeous little book ends they're little houses like little cottage houses and they just hold your books look it's me <laughs> i just i'm so obsessed with it i just think that is the cutest thing i think i've ever seen in my life and i was actually shopping with my friend and she spotted it and just knew it was so up my alley anything cottagey and just warm and cozy and homely so for the two of these they're actually really heavy it's a bit of a workout holding them up and um, they were five pounds so I just feel like that's a steal again they're in pristine condition and this is something I'm 100% gonna have forever I just love them so much so cute okay so now moving on I'm gonna go on to the clothes I found so the first thing I found again this was age UK this gorgeous pink cardigan I have listened to feedback on my other charity shop hauls and I am going to try them on for you um so I got this for four pound but it actually has the original tag on it and it was 25 pounds as you can see from new so that is amazing four pound and it's super super soft and as you will all know my favorite color is pink so I can never go wrong with a pink cardigan soon the majority of my wardrobe is either going to be pink or cream I'm absolutely convinced of it it's probably going to take another year but all I seem to buy these days is pink or cream <laughs> or at a push black or like gray or like the neutrals but yeah I'm very obsessed with pink I'm a very pink girl so this is the pink cardigan and I absolutely love it just ignore the clash with my red lips I would never wear pink and red together that is the one fashion thing I do know <laughs> but I know I absolutely love it it's a really nice bright almost corally pink and it's super super soft I can tell this is brand new and it had the tags on because it's just it's so soft you know when you put on a cardigan you just know it's like the softest thing and it's not going to itch one bit that is the feeling I have so yes the next thing I found was this denim dress from the British Heart Foundation so I got this for five pound but again it has the original tag on it and it was originally 18 pounds so five pounds for something that was originally 18 pounds so I will see how I feel about this when I try it on but I love the frill sleeves and I feel like a denim dress in winter with tight boots and a top underneath is just very up my street <laughs> so I'm very excited to try that on okay so this is the denim dress I'm not 100% sold I do like it but I feel like it's a little bit like a baggy on my waist so it's tight everywhere else but it just I feel like it needs like an inch like if it just sat a bit more like that then I would like it a lot more but it's just a little bit loose around my waist so that might be something I will be able to rectify with my sewing machine anyway so for four pound I think I'm actually just going to use it as a bit of a project on my sewing machine just to see if I can get it to fit at the end of the day I'm a beginner with my sewing machine and if I don't try things then I'm never going to get there so I might as well just try and adjust this because I feel like it could be really cute if it just sat a little bit more like cinched at the waist then I would like it a lot more but I like the style anyway and I feel like I would wear it a lot if I can just sort out that waist issue. It is good for Christmas mince pies though. Maybe I can keep it like this just so I can fit my roast dinner in. <laughs> the next thing I got again from Age UK was this gorgeous, <laughs> I love it so much, like sweatshirt. I feel like I said when I seen this, it's very like rich country girl goes for a walk. <laughs> So this was a £3 and I can just see myself wearing it with leggings and wellies for a nice walk with Murphy and it will keep me nice and toasty but again it's cream so I'm going to wear it all the time. Well I suppose it's, it's more beigey isn't it? It's sort of like a, or like a tan or sand. I don't know I'm really bad with colours. <laughs> But yeah, I just love this and I just know I'm going to get a lot of wear out of it and it's just nice and big and oversized and I just know, especially during winter, when I'm going for all those walks, the New Year's Day walk, we always do like loads of walks around this time of year and I like to be nice and toasty, so that is perfect for that. So this is the jumper, the, what's it called, sweatshirt, I'm not sure, fleecy jacket. <laughs> 
<laughs> I really need to get my language better. You can tell I would never be cut out for being like a fashion YouTuber. But anyway, this is the fleecy jumper. I absolutely love it. I feel like it's exactly the vibe that I thought it was when I looked at it on the hanger. I just really like it and yeah, it's super soft, cozy. And what I like about this as well is it's quite long. So it covers me up when I'm in leggings because I can be a little bit self-conscious, don't like to have too much on the show when I'm out for a walk, just because it's not entirely appropriate. <laughs> so no, I really like this and I think it's going to be even more lovely with some nice wellies and in the right context on a walk and things. So yeah, this was definitely a good purchase. I'm so happy with this. Okay, the final thing I got was this coat from Wallace. Um, sadly, I have, since I've got it home, seen that it has got a bit of a stain on it. So I think this coat, it feels brand new. It's got like no tugs. It just looks like there's no way this has been worn much. So this was from Bernardo's and it was £10, originally from Wallace. The buttons are gorgeous. I think I should be able to get that stain out, but if I can't, then the good thing about charity shops is they have a 28 day return policy so I can always take it back and I think that's what I love about charity shops is you can try things out take them home and it doesn't cost too much money just to try it and then it's just so easy to take things back as well so I'm going to try this on and um, see if I like it if I do I'll try and get the stain out if not I will return it and just let them know um, about the stain it's not huge to be fair it's only tiny so I suppose if I did really like it and I could get a bit of it out, it would be all right. Okay, so this is the Wallace coat and I actually really love it. I feel like it's such a staple and I feel like it's very classy and I would wear it for a lot of years actually because I just feel like it's very timeless. So the details are just gorgeous as you can see. It's just, it's very like almost tailored. Um, it's probably a little bit big for me but I think that works in a coat because then you can fit more like bulkier clothes underneath it. So I'm definitely going to keep this, try and get that stain out to be honest now that it's on I can barely even notice it so I think I'll try and get out of it what I can but yeah even if I can't get much out I'm still gonna wear it because I like it so that is everything I bought from the charity shops this month. I really hope you have enjoyed this haul. Like I said in my intro, if you do enjoy charity shop hauls, please be free to subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any of my upcoming hauls. So I really hope you have enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up as well if you did, and I will see you in my next video.